This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So far, we've looked at a carry for carry forward, which is the default position. We've also looked at um, current year and or previous year claims. Now there is a special set of loss relief rules just for individuals, not for companies, just for individuals. And it relates to the opening years. Now, if you've not watched the chapter on basis periods and how we do those opening year rules, I would suggest that you pause this recording, this lecture now, go back and do that chapter. As I've said before, the chapters are in an order that makes the progression logical. So you have to learn one thing before you can learn another and so on and so forth. So I would suggest that you go back and watch that. However, I will do a bit of a recap in, in this chapter, um, just because it's always worthwhile having a recap. So this is a special set of rules for the opening years. OK, so the first four tax years of trade it applies to. And the rule is that you can then carry back the loss three tax years on a first in. Let me write that in. First in. First out. Basis. FIFO, we call it and it's against total income. One claim applies for all three years, you're likely to get a tax income tax refund if you've paid tax. Again, it's all or nothing, just as the others were, and it cannot be restricted to preserve that personal allowance. Now, first thing we need to do is to work out how those losses are assessed in those opening years because we had some special opening year rules didn't we so that's something that we need to kind of go through so first things first these opening years rules opening years rules year one is an actual basis from commencement to the next 5th of April, year two. We asked a question, is there a set of accounts for the year end in this tax year? remember sometimes the answer was no and that would be then the rule would be an actual basis and we looked at an example in that chapter of how that works then the answer is yes potentially is there a set of accounts yes there is if there is is it 12 months long in which case the rule is a current year basis if it's short or less than 12 months long, then the rule is the first 12 months profits. And if the answer is long and it's more than 12 months, then it's 12 months to the year end. A brief recap there of the rules. And obviously, if you are not on a current year basis and three of those four examples you're not then you have to repeat that in year three until you are on a current year basis so that's a brief recap of those rules and you'll notice here when it says calculating a trade loss the normal opening years rules apply yay we don't have to learn any more rules those rules still apply. However, there are no overlap losses. 
and they can only be relieved once. So again, we same process, adjust the profits using the computation, deduct the capital allowances, and if that then produces a loss, this is one of the loss reliefs that we can do. So we have here example number four, which is Matthew. And Matthew started trading on the 1st of August 2021. His trade results as adjusted for tax purposes. So they've done step one, which is to adjust, and step two, which is to deduct the capital allowances. So in the 10 months through the 31st of May 2022, he made a loss. 20,000 and then in the year to the 31st of May 2023 he made a profit of 48,000 okay so what we need to do now is to work out how that opening years will be affected by those rules and we can then work out how we're going to uh, um, assess the income and the losses so let's have a look so we're looking at Matthew and his trade income assessments and it's example number four so we need a year basis of assessment Any workings we need to do and what's going to be assessed to tax potentially. All right. So when did Matthew start to trade? It says here he started to trade on the 1st of August 21. Now that is an actual basis because it's year number one. So the rule is date of commencement to the next 5th of April, which makes this the 21-22 tax year. How long is that period of time? August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. It's eight months long. So eight tenths, because that first set of account was only ten of 20,000 so that's our calculation now that is a loss of 16,000 so what will go in the assessment what will go in his income tax computation nil okay so that loss relates to 2122 and we will see how we can get relief for that later. So year two, 22, 23. What is the rule that we are looking for? Is there a set of accounts that falls in that tax year? Yes, there is. But it's a short set of accounts that falls in that year. So the rule says it must be the first 12 months of profits which will be the period from the 1st of August 21 through to the 31st of July 22 okay that's the rule that's what we're looking to fulfill now he started to trade on the 1st of August 21 and he prepared his accounts to the 31st of May 22 and that was a loss of 20,000 now we've used 16 of that we've used that here so this is the remaining loss Now that period of time is only 10 months long, so we need the 1st of June 22 
to the 31st of July 22. That's a two month period out of the set of accounts that had £48,000 worth of profits on them. And we add that to that situation. So the final working, what will appear in his income tax computation is £4,000. Now we are not yet on a current year basis. So year 3, 23, 24 is there a set of accounts that ends in this period of time? Yes, there is. It's the year ended 31st of May 23 accounts. So we're now on a current year basis and that 48,000 will be assessed. So there you have your answer to example number four. Now example number five. Fiona started trading on the 1st of July 2020. Her results as adjusted for tax purposes for the first two years are as follows. So in the first year she made a loss of 12. And in the second year, June 22, she made a profit of two and a half. Now, she'd previously been employed, and this was how her remuneration looked. A remuneration is a salary or income. It ceased in September 2020, and this is what she's earned in the last three years. She also has property income. So we are to calculate the taxable income for all the years after claiming opening years loss relief. Okay, so we're going to look at all these years and look at all the situation that we find ourselves in with this. Because there's multiple things here. She's got a job, she's got property income and she's got losses and trade profits. So all of those need to be dealt with. So let's look at the answer. Okay, now we've set all these years out. Okay, first things first, with any of these situations, set up the pro forma. So the year of loss was 2021. Now let's have a look at first things first. We're going to do a working. So obviously, now let's go back. Let's go back and just set this up first. Okay, first things first, years across the top. Okay. Pro forma down the side. First thing, set up your pro forma. Second thing, copy the question into the answer. That's what that's come from the question. She had employment income. She had no income from there. That we'll come back to. Okay, because that's a working. But these figures, the four and a half, that has also been copied. Don't fill in the subtotal yet because you're not sure what else is going to be um, done. You can also put that in. Put those in every uh, all the way along. Now, interestingly, if this turned up in an exam, you'd probably get half a mark for copying that, half a mark for copying that, and half a mark for inserting that. Make sure you do it properly. Okay, copy it properly. Now, this working, this is an important bit. You see how they've done the basis of assessment. This is a model answer, what your answer should look like and what I've been trying to, to draw them out with um, as before. So, she started to trade on the 1st of July 2022. The rule is an actual basis. So it goes to the next 5th of April, 9 twelfths of the loss. The assessment says nil. Let's go back up to the top. The assessment says nil. Write it in. Carry on. 2022-23, we're on a current year basis because there is a set of accounts with an accounting year that falls in this tax year. It is the year ended June 2022 
it has a loss of 12 but we've used 9 of it therefore the remainder of the loss of 3000 is therefore put against the um, 2223 so in neither of those years is there anything that needs to go in the income tax computation we'll deal with the losses in a moment however there is some income in 23-24, the year ended June 23, income of two and a half. That then needs to go into our computation. Now you can subtotal. That's your first thing. So the first thing you do is, let's set this out, let's do this again. Bomb. Set out the pro forma. Two, copy what you can. From the question. Three, work out the basis of assessment. This here. Is a lost memo. We've got nine thousand in twenty two twenty three and three thousand in twenty three twenty four. And then for a breathe. Take a breath. You have done so well to get this far. You've got marks for copying your question correctly into your answer and you've got marks for doing the basis of assessment and getting that correct that's probably let me think half for that rule half for that rule half for the calculation half for the calculation another one for this and another one for that one two three you've got four marks for doing that there's a lot of marks for doing the basis of assessment Half a mark for your lost memorandum and one and a half at the top. So that's two, three, four, six marks so far. And all you've done is basis of assessment and copying. So breathe. Okay. And then five, part five, is to um, apply the losses. And remember the rule for this is first in, first out. Here we have a look. Let's read what it says here. Using the opening year's loss relief, the loss of 9,021.22 is set initially against the income in 18.19. So we have a loss here and it's first in, first out. So we would go back three years. and apply it here first. It's all or nothing against total income and the allowances have been wasted. But any tax that was paid in 2018-19 will now be refunded in full. Um, the loss in 22-23 of 3,000, that's this loss. That goes back three years one two three and that's set off in full there and we've had full relief for all our losses <laughs>